actually going to see Diddy Kong or Mario. You're actually going to see Sora oh. from Steven. And this is going to be very interesting. We, we've had some very mixed reviews about Sora, and I'm going to be completely honest, I actually kind of like Sora. I think Sora is a very good addition, especially with the way that, you know, Sora kind of tends to play. Not because it's, like, an even better bail. It's not the point. I really love how floaty that, you know, um, Sora is. So it's already, you know, kind of a really good start, putting on 51%, and it's looking like Mano doesn't really know what to do because, you know, of course, it's a new character, but we love to see, you know, everything from Mano coming from, you know, the very good neutral, the very patient and very non-committal form of neutral to not really, you know, you know, get those mistakes that you normally see. And are we not going to see mistakes? But that was a very scary recovery getting in right there. And not going to get the reverse edge guard. But we're in a very bad spot right now for Mato. 131, 32% right now. And it is not stopping. The bleeding, you have to be very careful because they can just lose this stock. Not entirely yet. Very nice DI from Mono, living at 146%. That's very nice. Hello. Yeah, um, I, I think uh, Sora is one, I think, obviously underdeveloped, and I think it's going to take time for this character to develop because they're really unique. There's not really anyone who plays exactly like him with his flowiness, with being a sword character, and with his uh, like unique str uh, abilities when it comes to his neutral B and his uh, canceling off his multi-hit Nair and Fair. Um, I've personally played a lot of Debuzz's Sora, and I see a ton of potential in this character. And we're actually going to see Debuzz go all Sora this Cino. You know. So Ooh. this is not the last time you're going to be seeing this character tonight, for sure. That being said, Steven started off with getting like almost the, like 120% string, um, playing really smart neutral and just kind of staying grounded and letting Mono come in to him. But now, uh, Mono managed to get 82% before taking that stock, so it's got to be some good momentum uh, to finally like get a hit in and not totally let Steven run away with the lead. Because this is, with Sora's weight, this is an easy comeback. Absolutely, and speaking to that lead, I really love the way that, you know, um, Mono has been actually playing it. You know, that was a very bad first stock, but they were still able to, you know, make up that percent. And, you know, right now, all we need to see is probably a really well-spaced smash attack or one of those combos like the upgrade you're talking about, set up into an F-Smash, that can take this stock right now. But, you know, we're at 52% on their stock, and that Ooh, very nice, you saw that was Merita up B? That was so good coming in from Mano, taking that stock with only 60%, so it's not that bad, but we can definitely see them put on a little bit more damage if they can somehow find a way to get out of this advantage. It's really looking like right now that they're really struggling to get out of this disadvantage because, you know, it's just like, like, what can they really do realistically? They have to find, you know, their way safely to the ground, not make their, you know, path recovery. It's too predictable. It's very nice, but, you know, they're still fighting. They have some fight left in them, and they are ready. You are seeing it right now. Not going to put on too much percent, and still at the ledge right now, but... Ooh. Oh, great read right there coming in from Steven. And yeah, that Nair up B was definitely showing what I was talking about earlier when it comes to Mono is the specialist of his character. That being said, um, on Steven's side, Sora, I don't even think, I think it's been out for like exactly a week or a little bit over a week. Yeah, a week and two days. And Steven already showing really good knowledge of this character. Definitely he's been grinding and you can tell. Um, and I think it is a bit of character unfamiliarity coming out with Mono. You know, how exactly do you deal with such a floaty sword character who could command airspace that normally Marth likes to be in, but now Sora can be out there preemptively with his floatiness. That being said, weight coming in, beautiful dash on the uh, F-tilt. Using the burst option of that move to cover Sora's landing, he is floaty, so he will stay out there for a while. And not only that, it looks like a little bit of the start off, start off on that side B plays, uh, you know, some sort of factor into how, you know, they actually want to go about it now because, you know, that startup, it just makes it a little bit more easier for you to really punish it as soon as you, like, kind of understand that it's coming for sure. So that's definitely very good on Mono's part. Taking that stock and, you know, this looked like it can be a, you know, pretty much sealed game for Steven if they can just take the stock um, pretty soon, you know. Sora's F-Smash is literally so good. And their ledge trapping capabilities, it's probably one of the best in the game. Um, for at least in my, you know, you know, opinion. And is that gonna kill? That was very weird. That yeah. actually ended up like he reversed it. Yeah, well that, that was a really smart use of some um some Daga? <laughs> so the thunder move right there. Uh yeah, Thundaga. 
really uh, good usage of that uh, to retreat, you know. That's definitely something that probably Mono isn't ready for because of how underdeveloped Sora is. Unique options like that are something that we're not too used to seeing. And that being said, another thing with unfamiliarity, uh, Mono DI'd that Thundaga completely in right there, so he went right off the top immediately. I believe if uh, there was some holding away on that, there was a solid chance he could have lived. So Mono seems to be a little bit unfamiliar. Maybe he has not been playing too many Sores, um, so which is totally understandable. So we'll have to see if he adjusted anything from game two. He was figuring some stuff out. Absolutely, we can definitely see that right there. I definitely love to see how they actually use, um, you know, Battlefield to their advantage. Definitely playing a little bit more, you know, trying to be a little bit more aggressive. I, I definitely feel like. You know, it could definitely work out in their favor because, you know, they have the spacing, they have the tools needed to actually really make, you know, Sora be scared of, like, what they do. Like, you can't just, like, be in the air. You have, you know, um, sliding F, so you have fair. You have so many tools that kind of just outrange Sora. And although Sora has the multi-hit aerials, you know, it's not something that, like, is just going to immediately outrange, you know, Sora. And right here, this could be a, a. I like this pick the battlefield because I feel like um, Sora is a character who loves to command the space right above you. Um, in in shield, usually when you're shielding, you have the mix up with those multi hit aerials, and with platforms all over the stage, it's much easier to kind of hide under them and not let Sora get in that airspace where he's so commanding. And right there, uh, really good stuff from Mono. That tipper spacing coming out. Gonna get such an early kill, and I think he's playing Battlefield perfectly. Just staying under these platforms and totally playing super safe. Oh, oh saving him. That was oh, very nice. Yeah. They actually would have, you know, just had a really good lead if they didn't do that. But it's definitely okay. He's still only at 105%. Um, and just putting on some damage to Steven. And, you know, Steven can find themselves in a little bit of a very bad issue here. That was, is that F yeah, that's or F, F tilt. Um, it, it's kind of unique. It can be like a one, two, three combo, or it could just be one hit. That's pretty strong and killing right there. Um, it has a pretty nice hitbox. So Steven using that right here, and I think switching it up a bit, we're seeing him not go above these platforms that much now. Rather sharking under it right here, and on playing a more grounded game. And it's been beneficial so far this stock. But can he land F tilt once again? So good at catching floaty characters fade back. Okay, are we going to eventually see the kill maybe sometime soon? Not going to get anything off of that ledge trap right there. Very nice use of Faraga to actually stop that approach right there. I definitely love the way that they kind of just, you know, use a lot of their aerials, Steven, to just really stop a lot of these approaches. But stopping the approaches isn't going to be enough to stop that F tilt from killing you right there. And Mono only at 85%. We can definitely see this be a little bit more in Mono's favor. You know, they definitely have you know, enough of the skill to have, you know, people in disadvantage for a really long time. Like we're seeing right now, 69% and trying to build on 83. We can see maybe a kill right now. Are they? Nope. Uh, they are going to punish that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it is a oh. very laggy move. And Steven right there, I think, probably thought he was a little bit higher up. So he only has to do one. Going to be an SD, but regardless, it seems like Mono was running away with that. And I think what Mono really figured out was um, knowing when to pick to jump uh, and not letting Steven command the air at all. And that is both in part to Battlefield and his adaptation. So Steven, some things he's been getting caught up a lot, that F tilt a near ledge. He's got to be watching out where he's floating away from. You can't just really retreat from Marth super easily. Maybe even using a counter or two could be beneficial. Anything to kind of mix up where he's going to position himself when you are floating. But yeah, for sure. Um, we're gonna get to go ahead and get into game three right now, and we're actually going to PS2, just right back to the same stage that Steven won on the first game. Ooh, definitely very nice, and I think that, you know, if we want to see Steven take the game here, Steven definitely has to kind of work around this mid-set adaption that we've seen from Milo, which is actually really nice. Definitely be able to, you know, have a really good intuition and, um, you know, understand what was kind of going wrong in the first game just literally set up for the next game and maybe even this game what a clean jab reset right there using the fire uh steven showing some stuff out right here and this honestly most characters can't really contest the martha stage but sora has one of the best edge guarding games in the game like honestly meta knight level stuff it's really scary so we'll have to see if steven can end up being tricky but now this is where he's been dying every stock retreating on ledge 
getting that F tilt. Look at that. Absolutely. It's another one of the situations. I think that was actually, you know, side B that was coming out right there from Steven. And, you know, Mano just figured out that one recovery path has just been what he needed to actually take that first dock. And very nice air dodge to get out of that Thundaga right there. And we can see Mano almost about to lap. Or, I'm sorry, Steven about to lap Mano almost 10% right there, literally. And. You know, this is going to be really bad if they can't actually take the stock. It might just be another repeat of what we saw that second game. Yeah, and Sora is a character who really takes most of his stocks, um, mostly with, like, confirms off these, like, Nair 1s or, or the Nair strings or the Fair strings. But I think Mana's been just playing around that so well, and that's why he's been able to avoid losing stocks, because he only really dies to things like that straight hit back here. So if Mono can keep up this like really grounded shield game and not let Steven get those fair strings going, this could be a really big lead to run away with. Absolutely. And that is going to take it. Very nice catching Steven offstage right there. Wanting to try and keep, you know, the distance between Mono, but it's not going to work out entirely well. But you know what also isn't working out? This is answer right here because they're just going to let Mono go for free. Not without putting on some more damage, but, you know, this is still in Mono's favor. Two stocks, only or 45% on them right now, and it can just be really scary. I really do love the way that you know Mono has been taking really good usage of you know Steven's um, recovery path. Like that's probably one of the most things because it's just like you don't really want to stay too much at ledge. So uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. It looks like you know Steven doesn't want to really be in that position. Although you don't want to be too much in that position, it's probably not one of the best places to be. Yeah, and right here, this is um, looking similar to the when they were at two and three stocks, just getting lapped. And these F tilts at ledge, Steven just has not been adapting to them once. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you have to know that he's going to go for it. You could honestly just get up and shield. Because I think Bono is so confident since it's worked like six times in a row. He's going to throw it out again. But Steven is not respecting Marth on the ledge. And that's where he lost all his socks. He lost it with that Absolutely. double jump fair, trying to retreat. He lost it um, with those F tilts. So I think it was just a game of knowing that you can't play Sora against sorties like you can against other characters. You, they can contest you in the air. Absolutely, and that was very good play from both of these players. Mono did come out victorious, and I really love the way that they played it. Again, like, you know, a lot of the things that you, you know, also mentioned. But, you know, they just really kept it super consistent, you know, staying more towards the ground because they knew that's exactly where they needed to be and just punishing, you know, the disadvantage. It was really, honestly, just that that really kind of made Steven lose. But for sure, um, I really hope you guys like that set. But I would like to talk to you guys really quick about a few things. Period. <laughs> Y'all yeah. already know what it is. <laughs> Caddy G up in the business. <laughs>